Hello. Yes, I know it's a d different intro, but we'll just f flow of it. Welcome to Car Talk. <laughs> Now in this episode of Car Talk, oh my gosh, I have a st story to tell you. This has put an impact on my life in a very good way, in a very good way. I just want to sh share it with you guys and also Anyone else who's watching the video, even though it's happened almost a week back, it, it just doesn't feel real the way this happened, or or any of it. Well, I'm going to, t t to tell you what will might also be useful f f f f f for you guys, and and it might also be useful and helpful for the business which I'm going to, 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 to talk about. This is nothing to do with sales or anything, this is just my honest opinion on a manufacturer known as W Motors. Now, for those who don't know uh, what this manufacturer is, um, basically you, you you may have heard of a c c c c car running around. I would c c kind of say that it mostly got its fame from uh, Fast and Furious 7, which is a actual movie. And uh, that's mainly how I managed to find out what the c c c c car was. The car was called a Lycan Hypersport. And, uh, oh my god. So, let's just go back in t t t time and just talk about where d d d d W Motors st st started and, and where it is now. So, uh, around mid 2012, a person called Ralph. Dubas, I, if this guy's really busy, so it, he might not be watching, but if you are, I'm really hoping that I've got your name pronounced to I. Uh, basically, Ralph st started the company in mid 2012 uh, in the Banyan. I, I I'm also hoping that I've pronounced that right as well. Ralph's main f focus of the brand was mainly to reflect on exclusivity and luxury. F first one was to 2013. Uh, the brand moved over to. Dubai, as this was inspiration f from the extreme amount of development um, on Dubai's exclusive and luxurious characteristics, which per per perfectly suits what Ralph's. Well, uh, brand focus was not to be as. Before the movement to Dubai, VIP guests were invited to have an exclusive look at the first few ske sketches of what their first car was going to be, be which was the Lycan Hypersport. Further on to the 6th of April 2014, where the production ready version of the Lycan Hypersport was revealed as its European debut at the top marks. Then, just two years after that, the Lycan Hypersport was 
fully reveal at the Geneva Lodge Show of 2016 in front of almost 700,000 people. Then in April 2017, I believe, the brand showed off their first production model, which is known as a Fenya Super Sport, I believe that's what it's pronounced as, because you, you, you can say as many of things like Fenya, 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 there's so many names to actually say, but I, 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 be, I believe it's pronounced as Fenya, Super Sport. They also sh 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 showed off the new like side company as well. W Motors is a brand that that's promised to keep all the cars petrol for uh, for like the longest time that they can do uh, cars for. As well as just my things, mainly just petrol, my supercars. Unlike when last year when they did the new world premiere of of the site company called Iconic. Now they showed off the I. Colic 7, which is completely different to the W Motors cars. These cars are electric SUVs, and in in the future, they are they are actually planning to make their cars have tier five or Tunnelless driving, so basically that just means you're on your own. No steering wheel, no pedals, no gearbox, no... Well, it will have a gearbox, but there'll be no shifter or anything. Just after C Christmas last year, they revealed the new flagship showroom, which is set in the middle of Dubai. As well as they launched the first ever production ready as if like proper road legal Fenner Super Sport. And if you find loads of. There aren't loads of videos around, but there's one in, in particular. Mr. JWW or James. Um, he did a <laughs> video I went that time um, when the c c c car was launched with Ralph in a p p passenger seat. Just t they just went on talking about the brand and everything. So I think you should watch that. I'll I'll leave a link in the description description box down below if I can find a video. And then we just move on to last week at the Goodwood Festival speed when the Fender actually was able to actually fly up up the hill which I okay so, so this is my first time going for Goodwood so uh I I only went for one day well I wasn't able to see absolutely absolutely everything and then like I didn't really see many c cars go up the hill and I most certainly didn't see n not even half of this sh sh show but I did s see a new c c car and it does look very I don't know it just looks it looks like a werewolf from hell it just looks like it looks like a werewolf from hell, it's, I don't know, it, it looks so beautiful, but it looks so aggressive, 
I don't know really know what to say about it, but it just it all the beauty of it and the aggressive lines just build in, and it just just makes the car look absolutely amazing. Anyway, the other had a like a hyper sport on the W Motors st stand, which was further towards the back of the sh 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 show. This was my first year I could go. I've always wanted to, to, to actually go, but I, I, I hadn't really had enough t t time to actually go. GG, school and things like that. Um, but this year I, I just finished uh, high school, so I was able to go, and I'm definitely going next year. And hope, hopefully I'm going for from more than one day because last week was it's one of the, it is the best show I've been to and there's no doubt it's the best show in the world no doubt so let's just get right into the whole point of um, this experience when I saw that they were taking the lichen to a sh sh show my mind just st strained for an answer like my mind kind of froze because I'm, I'm like the car is going to be at the show but this is my first time going <laughs> I need to see this c c c car when we had like three or four hours left until the sh sh show was finishing um, I was like no matter what happens I need to see the Lycan before this show ends if anything if I see a car my life is complete that's it and I I managed to find this stand only just it was actually so sort of hard to find it but we finally did and um, when I did I just saw the diamonds in the front headlights and I was just like oh my god the auto craftsmanship even just in the little front headlights with 420 little d diamonds inside. Oh my god! Right, so firstly, I will have to excuse you for the lighting because it's looking a bit awful. But anyway, besides that, so where's clowns? Is I might as st stand just being absolutely st st stunned at what I'm looking at. And then this really nice lady just c c c concert and just goes we'd like to gain access to get onto a st stand and get close up photos of the car and I'm just like are you flipping kidding me oh my god the amount of people who get a chance to do this on a really rare, super expensive car that's super exclusive. Oh my gosh. The craftsmanship of that car is beyond unreal. Anyway, minutes later, she was like, Oh yeah, but we also have a founder here and he will love to meet you. In person, I'm just like, hang on, who who is this? Ralph, who's a person who I've been t t t t t t t talking about before, c c c c comes over, and I'm like, I've seen you on on the YouTube channel, Mr. JWW. I know who you are. Oh my God. I, I just so wanted to talk to him, but I was just so st stunned by the, by just being 
by a uh, car itself, never mind the car and him. But I just didn't know what to say. I was just like, like even now I'm like, what? Like even today, I what I think of it, I. Just, I still can't think of much to say, or like, I kind of like st st struggle to actually, uh, to actually think about what to say about what happened on that day, like, oh my god, he's a super nicest guy, I mean like, that lady who, I think her name was Nadia, I think, both of them were super nice, but wow, He's super chill and everything, and he's just oh. Before I left, he decides to give me a gift. I, I, I'm not sure if I will see sh this on camera. Actually, no, I will. I will. Right. So every day, I'm I'm, I'm trying to make this thing look as little as d just as possible because. At some point, I, this thing has to go in some frame because this is not many people get these. Like, if anything, the only people who properly have these are like the people who own a Fender or all the like. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is super cool. This is the W Motors official. I don't really know what to call it, like, folder or, like, brochure, even though it does have its own brochure right here for the Fendia, which was really cool. That was also signed by Ralph, just saying, t t two thin best wishes, you know, which, that in itself is amazing as well, but he, here's a thing, here's, here's a big, big gift. So Ralph gave me an original sketch of the new Fender Super Sport. It's also been signed, which you might be able to tell. Actually, no, I will not. Actually, not. I will, but underneath is a number i'm not sure if it's a number to a company or not but uh you can kind of see yeah and then this is the best gift i have ever been given and like i'm sorry but that is mm. oh my god a massive thank you to uh, Ralph, and also the rest of the rest of the team at W Motors because they are the nicest people. Honestly, they're like best friends. <laughs> As hard, honestly, it's oh my god, that's something really sp special that I really want to. Sh sh share with you guys and uh yeah i really hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did then smash that like button subscribe and click on the little bell so you know exactly when upload the next video um yeah if you are st still watching this just wait until the outro where i talk about why uh to talk about this might be quite useful for you guys watching because Oh my god, this is such a fantastic experience. Thank you to Dublin Lotus, and uh, yeah, I'd like to thank our fellas for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next video. So, the message I just want to send you guys is the fact that everyone says how you sh 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 should not meet your heroes, as this is a expression 
of when he's singing, it's not very really interesting. I've met one of my heroes and I'm very grateful for it. So just keep that in mind.